Good day, children. Namaste to all of you, and very warm welcome to yet another session of our much awaited, much loved, and one of the most popular series, which is Sprint X for ICSE 2021. Yes, so let's get started. And this is Ambika, your biology master teacher, right here at Vedantu. Well, guys, so as you know, we are done with the first chapter, cell cycle and cell division. Structure of chromosome, to be very honest, it could be considered as a part of that chapter. But as per various uh, ICSE textbooks, this is still considered to be chapter number two. So anyway, in our sprint tech series, we prefer to keep it as a separate chapter. So that I think um, one of the advantages is that we could possibly discuss a few more questions from this as compared to how it would have been if it were a part of the other chapter. Right, guys? Anyway, I think um, the response has been good. And Sprintex, for those of you who uh, don't know what we do in it, children, we intend to give you question practice. Okay, so we will be discussing various commonly asked types of questions, some of which are from past year's papers and uh, some of them which are just based on the pattern. Um, and we will be discussing them very, very quickly. Okay, so remember, um, if you are still at your initial stages of learning every concept in your syllabus, hopefully you are not belonging to that category. But just in case you do belong to that category, please do remember to check out our Umang series because that's where we've been discussing every single concept, every single chapter well in detail. On top of that, we also have one shot series. We've got bio bites in 15 minutes as well for some of the important and uh, seemingly complex concepts. Okay, but in Umang series, you will be finding everything. So check out all the different playlists and make sure you find out, make sure you get access to and make sure you're able to use whatever you need best at this point of time. Right, children? Okay. Moving ahead, remember, um, in this chapter, as I told you, we will be discussing just about structure of chromosomes. Hopefully, you have an idea about cell cycle and cell division. So that's like pretty much uh, something that we've done already. Structure of chromosomes we are going to be discussing today. And coming to the homework, which I gave you in the last session, why is there a difference in the rate of cell division in children and adults? Well, I did receive a lot of answers. Naman Sharma and Joseph Dennis um, their answers have been put up uh, put up here thank you very much naman and joseph and everyone else who's given me the answer um so naman says normal circumstances uh, the rate of cell divisions decreases along with increasing age because the necessity of cell division decreases with increasing age first point secondly naman has written the biological ability of cell division decreases with increasing age and naman has added a session was amazing as always thank you very much naman one of my regular children out there okay now uh, joseph says that children need to grow to their adult size and that means their cells must divide faster than adult cells thank you ma'am for this session absolutely welcome joseph and thank you very much naman joseph and all other children who have taken even a couple of seconds uh, sorry a couple of minutes of your busy day to give me the answers right children thank you so much and uh, remember here is the schedule okay so the biology schedule for sprint uh, as i always remind you we are already done with the first one cell cycle and cell division this is what is going to be happening today and remember all your other chapters are um, yet to be done and as you can see some of your chapters depending upon the um, importance or depending upon the complexity of a particular chapter we have uh, kept the number of sessions per chapter to be one or two for example photosynthesis you can see it's one uh, sorry two sessions <coughs> sorry um, nervous system also it's got two sessions all right so uh, as you can see the timing is going to be 5 p.m or 6 p.m every day for your biology and as you can see the last session is going to be happening on the 27th of feb okay right so that's about biology then coming to chemistry anubha ma'am's schedule is this as you know the first chapter would have already happened and anubha ma'am is going to be doing a session um, at 6 p.m on these dates okay so started on the uh, 9th of feb going on till the 27th of feb as you can see same way for some chapters there are two sessions 
okay right then coming to physics by anup sir again uh, it's already started and this will be going on at 5 pm every day i think anup sir sessions are always on at 5 pm uh, for this series and it will go on till the 26th of feb all right guys and then uh, gopal sir sessions math schedule uh, this has also already begun 7 pm is going to be the time and this will go on till the 21st of feb all right i think gopal sir has a session every day if i'm not wrong okay right so that's about math going on till the 21st of feb um oh sorry there are more so there are uh, sessions till the 26th of Feb, actually. Yeah, actually, to be very honest, uh, math would need a lot more sessions as compared to um, our other subjects. All right, then coming to uh, English, Shweta Ma'am's schedule is right here for you, which has already started. And this will go on till the 27th of Feb. Okay, and Ankana Ma'am with uh, social studies and this has also already started and this will, Ankana Ma'am also has got a lot of sessions with you. Um, so this will go on till the 27th of Feb. So children basically, as you can see, till the end of this month, till the end of the month of February, we are going to be doing a Sprint X. Okay, so Sprint series is going to be literally helping you out do a sort of marathon revision based on your entire syllabus question practice will be a highlight of the series all right guys and in case you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do click on the subscribe button right now children please remember as i told you so many things in store for you till the end of this month so to stay tuned and to make sure you don't miss out any of those the best and the simplest way is to stay subscribed and click on the bell icon right next to it. And please click on the like button if you have been enjoying these sessions and share it with as many children as possible. Children, especially CBSE 9, CBSE 10 and ICSE 10, you will find a lot of useful content out here. Right, oh, and here is my positive quote for you for today. The happier you are, the more beautiful you become. So always remember, beauty has got nothing to do with your appearance, your hairstyle or your uh, complexion or the way of dressing. Of course, it may be important up to a certain extent, but nothing at the cost of your inner beauty. Inner beauty would mean that it's going to reflect on your external beauty naturally. Happier you are, the more beautiful you become. Right? Now, children, getting started with the first question. The structure which initiates cell division in animal cells. Okay, so this uh, could be asked for a one mark question. Time in exam, you could, uh, I mean, at the most, you could take one minute, but I think you wouldn't need more than 10 15 seconds to answer this. What do you think this is? Structure which initiates cell division in animal cells. Of course, it's going to be the centrosome, which is comprised of centrioles, right? So, this is very important for spindle formation and all of that. So, make sure you know this. Centrosome is a structure which is absent in plant cells. So, here it specifies animal cells. The answer beyond doubt has to be centrosome. So, one mark entirely yours. Now, next one, question number two. The structure responsible to transmit characteristics from parents to offspring. What do you think? Well, structure responsible for transmitting characteristics. It would be chromosomes because chromosomes, we can say, are the carriers or the uh, vehicles of heredity. Vehicles of heredity. Right, children? So, remember... Uh, read carefully what the question is asking you. Structures responsible for transmitting characters. So we are looking at those structures which are getting transmitted, copied and transmitted from parents to offspring. Those have to be the chromosomes. In case the question is a bit more specific, like I would be asking you a question based on that uh, in the next few minutes. So hold on. But if it's a little different, the answer could be accordingly a little different. It could be genes, it could be alleles, it could be uh, DNA, it could be chromatin. So make sure you have read the question very, very carefully and clearly. All right. So two marks entirely yours. Now, duplicated chromosomes are joined at a point termed dash. What is the answer? Duplicated chromosomes. Remember, children, at the time of... Uh, S phase, during cell division, during S phase, the chromosome would get duplicated. 
because DNA replication happens, DNA synthesis happens. Now, these duplicated chromosomes are held together at a point which we call, it is the centromere. Beyond doubt, it has to be the centromere. And centromere is also the structure at which spindle fibers attach during cell division. Right, guys? Okay. So, question 1, 2 and 3. Very, very simple. All done. Children, let me just add one thing here before I forget. This particular chapter, structure of chromosomes, um, is one where there is more scope for one mark questions as compared to five mark questions. Not like uh, nothing beyond one marks would come. I'm not saying that. But it's more of one mark questions that are commonly asked from this. Okay, next one. The specific part of chromosome that determines hereditary characteristics. What do you think? Well, this could be a little confusing. As I told you, closely related to one of the previous questions, specific part of chromosome that determines hereditary characteristics. What could it be? Part of chromosomes. Okay, so this would be your chromosome. Okay, provided we are not talking about the duplicated one, this would be what it looks like. Um, the specific part which determines its characters. Segments of chromosomes, we call them genes. And what are genes? You could actually say that genes are segments of DNA. This is DNA, right? So genes, which are segments of DNA, would be the answer, right, children? So this is where you need to be very, very, very careful because the question is something that you know for sure, I'm sure uh, that all my smarties know the answer to this, but where do you have to be careful here? In reading the question very carefully, once again, specific part of chromosome that determines the hereditary characteristics. You might also find references which say that DNA is the answer, but in my opinion, safest way of writing the answer is like this. Genes, segments of DNA within brackets, because Genes would be more appropriate, but in case segments of DNA is also something that the examiner is looking at based on the answer key, make sure you have that also, right? So again, easily fetching you one full mark. So what happens in a careless, in a condition, in a case of careless mistakes, in a case of, um, you know, in a situation where you're not reading the question carefully, unnecessarily you're losing one full mark just because you haven't read through properly. Right, children, so be very, very careful. Uh, and at the same time, be very specific. Easily, you're going to get one mark in just 10 seconds, if you know it well. Okay, next one is going to be a slightly longer answer. State the differences between the following pairs, centrosome and centromere. Now, children, let me make it very clear that uh, usually for ICSE board exams, a standalone two mark question doesn't come. Even if a question comes like this, it could either come as a one mark question. If that's the case, the question would specify um, the state the difference, write the difference between the given pair based on the term given in brackets. This is one common type of question that ICSE board is fond of. So, say for example, centrosome and centromere. Maybe they might specify within brackets uh, structure. If that's the case, you will have to give a difference in structure of centromere and centrosome. If within brackets it's given definition, you just need to write the definition of the two. Okay. So, specifically, they would mention if it's going to be a one mark question. If it's going to be coming as a part of a five marks question, it could carry two marks, right? But then don't worry at all. Your question is going to be very, very specific. Centrosome and centromere. Remember, um, within a cell, within an animal cell especially, this would be the centrosome, which consists of a pair of centrioles, right? And it's from there that spindle fibers would develop. So this is the structure that I am talking about. I'll use a different color here, maybe red, okay? So this is the structure that I am talking about. Centrosome found in an animal cell. It's an organelle of the animal cell. Centromere, what does it remember? I told you spindle fibers would be formed and in a duplicated set of chromosomes or um, in a set of sister chromatids, there is a centromere which is the point at which 
spindle fibers would attach. So basically you need to know that, you need to remember that uh, spindle fibers begin from the centrosome or the centrioles and they attach or end at the centromere during cell division. This is how it works. All right. So uh, I know very, very closely related terms, but very important for you to know the difference as a 10th grader. Okay. Now, children, I think we are midway through the session. So let's just take a very quick break. Remember that apart from YouTube, Vedatu has got a lot to offer you to be a part of our live classes. You can compete with students across the entire country and across the world. Have a look at our interactive replays. Um, and at the same time, the quizzes and leaderboards are still going to be live. Right, children? So this, I think, is an amazing, amazing tool which is there just in case you don't find the time to attend every session while it's happening live. And handwritten notes of master teachers are going to be available for you for download. Um, doubt solving, tests and assignments, all of this is going to be a part of this because obviously we completely understand without these features, courses cannot be called complete, which is why we say this is different from our YouTube sessions because although we do put in our heart and soul, um, into our YouTube sessions, there is a limit to the extent of um, personal touch or the personal personalized attention that we can give in our YouTube sessions. Right, guys? So this is where these are going to be very, very useful for you. And of course, special, special, special things for you. Micro courses and crash courses are going to be available without any extra cost for those of you who are registered for Vedantu Pro subscription. And I will tell you the details of the pricing. Uh, but remember, children, the coupon code is AMBPRO. Okay. So remember to visit the link in the description box below and uh, the pinned comment. Uh, and this is what the pricing is like. 2699 per month for your four core subjects, science, maths, English, social studies. Of course, as far as ICSE is concerned, it would be biophysics, chemistry, um, and it would be your individual social studies subjects, English and mathematics, right? But whatever it is, as, a, as an overall set of subjects, it's four core subjects which you have. All of these are going to be available to you for 30 days at just 2,699, right? And on top of this, apply the coupon code AMBPRO. You are going to get a very special discount and you will be able to avail it at just 2,159. Right, children? So how do you make sense of it? This, remember, 2,159 is the price that you would pay for 200 live sessions. And that means the per session cost. Do the basic math. 2,159 divided by 200, it's coming down to as low as rupees 11 per session. Isn't that wonderful? Well, obviously it is wonderful because it's even lesser priced than your favorite lace packet or rather almost equal to a regular lace packet. Come on children, knowledge available at such a low and reasonable price shows very much that Vedantu cares to bring in a balance between keeping it pocket friendly and keeping it good in terms of quality right children so i think i've told you all that i had to remember link for you to register is given in the description box below as well as the pinned comment the coupon code would be ambpr all right okay so we are entering the second half of the session question number six briefly explain the types of chromosomes according to the position of centromere now children um well, in a chromosome, in a duplicated uh, chromosome, this is the centromere. Centromere in a chromosome can either be at the tip of the chromatids. It could be somewhere closer to the tips. It could either be um, at the center or even different. Okay. So, uh, remember, based on this, chromosomes are categorized into different kinds. Well, I know that this year, according to the later syllabus, this is not considered to be part of your um, syllabus 2021. But just in case it does come as a part of any of your competitive exams or anything at all, because it's been taught um, in the last several years for ICSE students, I thought it would be worth keeping this question because whenever it has been there, a question based on that has always been there. Right, children? So anyway, it's worth knowing it, even if it's a little extra. Don't worry, it's worth knowing it. So it would be worth two marks. Remember, there are four types of uh, chromosomes based on this. 
telocentric wherein the uh, chromosomes would be like this or rather the sister chromatids would be like this centromeres position is this at the tip okay terminal centromere acrocentric would mean the centromere is near to one end so it would look something like this okay so this is where the centromere is going to be near to one end the third one says submetacentric which means the centromere is slightly away from its center so if these are the um, this is one of the uh, sister chromatids and this is the other one you can see that it's not perfectly at the center but it's slightly away from the center submetacentric and metacentric would mean the centromere is exactly in the middle okay so these are the differences between this so if the question specifies you could uh, draw the diagrams as well but as i told you according to the latest syllabus this is not expected to be asked but be aware of this just in case you see a term like this or just in case you do come across diagram based questions like these you must know my children have to know how to answer this all right guys so moving ahead here is question number seven okay so identify and name the following processes or terms from the statements given below okay so uh, something like a name the following or write in one word sort of question so you have two of them carrying one mark each all right guys so chromosomes appearing thread like what do you think it could be um chromosomes appearing thread like okay think about the answer hold on a bit um and the next question says a pair of chromosomes carrying alleles for a particular character chromosomes appearing thread like now it's inside the nucleus that chromosomes would be and when they appear thread like and not like the usual organized condensed form like you would see at the time of cell division if you see it like this what would you call them you would call them chromatin fibers right chromatin fibers uh, a pair of chromosomes carrying alleles for a particular character all right if you remember there is one term that we keep using um, in the field of cell biology in the field of genetics this is very very important and that is homologous chromosomes homologous uh, homologous chromosomes would be those chromosomes which are uh, similar okay in structure okay and size and also adding to it they are also chromosomes which carry the different alleles for a particular gene or for a particular character of course there would be several characters that they carry alleles for but what we are talking about is what the question specifies is a pair of chromosomes which carry the different versions of traits or different versions of characters or the different traits for a particular character obviously the answer has to be homologous chromosomes remember one pair of homologous chromosomes would include a member from the mother the other member would be from father okay so this is it homologous chromosomes which every sexually reproducing organism has now yet another one state the function of chiasmata chiasma or chiasmata in plural what is it does it strike any bells okay let us look at it if you remember the process of crossing over is very very important during meiosis now let us just uh, draw a pair of homologous chromosomes like this this is one member of the homologous pair and let us draw another pair using a different color okay so this is uh, another pair right so exchange of chromosomal segments between non sister chromatids of a homologous pair this is what we call crossing over so as you can see there are points of crossover here this is what we call chiasmata okay so chiasmata are the points of crossover chiasma would be singular remember that crossing over takes place at chiasmata during meiosis so one of its major functions is to hold the homologous chromosomes together prior to segregation of course after crossing over these new recombinant chromosomes are going to segregate or separate away from each other but during crossing over 
chiasmata would be the points that hold them together and they form a very very important part during meiosis okay because recombination variation are all terms which are associated with chiasmata so remember this children very very important um it i think it's worth being asked even as a one mark question but if it's asked for two marks make sure you have a diagram also ready all right but normally as i always tell you don't worry icse board normally specifies what exactly you have to write additionally in case you have you are expected uh, something more is expected of you all right guys so questions 1 to 8 are done we are just left with a couple of questions next one okay super easy and important and tricky at the same time identify the odd one out from a set of four terms and name the category to which the other three belong this was asked in 2016 well children the terms given to you are thymine cytosine adenine pepsin what do you think is the odd term here easily you you will be able to answer this within 5 seconds uh, or 10 seconds maximum what could be the answer obviously the answer has to be pepsin the odd one is pepsin out here among these four thymine cytosine and adenine belong to the category of nitrogenous bases of dna so remember a t g c are the four nitrogenous base bases in dna guanine is not mentioned here but pepsin is mentioned always remember pepsin you have learnt it in your lower grades in the chapter digestive system okay because it's a hormone which helps in protein digestion in human beings all right so that is the odd one out here children this kind of questions are very very common and it's like a do or die situation you either know it or you don't know it okay so if you know it well and good within 10 seconds i've just kept it here as 30 seconds but in my opinion 10 seconds is all that you would need to answer this okay and now coming to the last one given below are groups of terms in each group the first pair indicates the relationship between the two terms rewrite and complete the second pair on a similar basis as you can see this was asked in 2017 an example is given for you oxygen is to inspiration as carbon dioxide is to expiration okay so um, identify the relation between the pairs from the first pair of terms given to you okay it's not ratio in proportion so don't uh, think about it at all in that sense but something where you have to figure out the logical relation between the first pair adenine is to thymine as cytosine is to dash what do you think would come on that blank yes identify the uh, the the relationship between adenine and thymine okay based on that tell me the same relationship would be shared by cytosine and what obviously the answer has to be guanine because a and t always pair together in dna and c and g always pair together right so this is by a double hydrogen bond and this is by a triple hydrogen bond always remember on a dna strand right um a and t would always be together or it could be t on this side and a on the other side um or if it's the case of c and g if there is c here it's going to be g on the other side or if it's going to be g here it's going to be c on the other side as simple as that a t g c but on the contrary i can ask you another version of this question um if the question said a adenine is to guanine as thymine is to dash what would your answer have been the answer would have to be thymine is to cytosine because adenine and guanine are the purines thymine and cytosine would be the pyrimidines so over there that would be the relationship between the terms all right so you have to be very careful in figuring out the relationship and then there we go you will identify the answer you will work out the answer right children so here is my homework for you for today give reason children of the same parents however similar are different from each other in certain aspects why do you think so i think that's a very nice question it's a very intelligent question it's something that you must give a thought
give it a deeper thought and give me the answer. It needn't be a bookish answer. You could write it in your own words. Okay, entirely leave it to you. Right, children, so that's about it. We are done with that. And um, yes, this was our current session. Um, the structure of chromosome is what we've discussed in today's session. And the previous session, as you know, was cell cycle and cell division. We are done with that and this. And the next session is going to be on the 13th of Feb. And this is going to be on the chapter absorption by roots. Okay, so we will be entering into your next unit 13th Feb at 5 p.m. So do not miss it out. Right, children? So remember, the coupon code is AMBPRO. Um, and of course, click on the like button, children. If you have found this useful, please prepare for your board exams according to this. Okay, so I hope this has done a good job of giving you an idea about where you need to improve, where you need to work over and over again, and where you are strong. Okay, very important for you to have that realization at this point of time. And children, please share it with all your ICSE 10 friends because sharing is definitely caring beyond doubt. And children, remember to stay subscribed to this channel, Vedantu 9th and 10th English, because as I have told you already, it's not just biology, physics, chemistry, maths, English, social studies. All of your teachers have already started with their respective sprint uh, series. And this will go on till the end of this month, Feb, so that you will be completely exam ready or a lot more confident than you were ever. Right, children? So please click on the like button if you need more sessions like these and share it with all your friends because sharing is caring and we want as many children as possible across our country to benefit from everything that we do here. Right, children? So I'll see you again in yet another amazing session. Until then, remember to stay happy and stay healthy. This is Ambika signing off. Bye-bye.